As a bass player in a three-piece band, sometimes you get asked to do a bunch of things. Wear pants on stage, don't wear a funny hat, the usual. But sometimes you also have to do things as part of that three-piece band to augment the sound. During a solo, when the most of the ambient sound goes away, you need to put some extra backing in and there's only you to do it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use my iPad with the 12 step to get the backing sounds that I need for a couple of the songs that we do. Let's get reckless with it. Unless you're Mike Rutherford of Genesis or Getty Lee out of Rush, big Taurus pedals and other big synth sounds are usually not practical, especially if you're playing in small clubs. Bring on the Macmillan 12 step. Now there's a few videos on this. Billy Sheen uses this with the Winer Dogs exclusively. My friend Eric Arco, I'll send a link to his YouTube channels below. Most of the stuff I've picked up on how to actually use the pedal, I've got from Eric, so I recommend you thoroughly go and look at his videos on how to program the, the keyboard and how to use it. As you've seen through some of my other videos, I use my iPad to control my in-ear monitors and the front of house through our Alan and Heath desk. I also use it for band helper to provide the set list on stage. And so since I already had the iPad there, how was I going to use the iPad to integrate with the 12 step? I use this iPad. It is a M1 iPad Pro. However, you can get away with this with an iPad Air. You can get away with an iPad Mini. Um, I just happen to have an iPad Pro and I've used that. But what else are you going to need? So the iPad's going to need power. Whilst it will power the 12 step by itself, it, the 12 step draws a lot of power on the device. So you're going to need something to connect. Power cable, USB, uh, in this case it's USB-C. You're going to need something to connect the iPad to the Macmillan. So I've got a USB-C um, mini hub. This one has on it um, the HDMI, if I want to extend the to a monitor. In this particular case, I don't need to do that. It's audio only. There's a USB in, which is where the Macmillan connects into and gets its power and control. And I've got a power in, and I've also then got an audio in. So this connects to the iPad, and this provides the external interfaces required for both the front of house and also the control of the Macmillan. Before I get to the iPad and the software that we're using, there's one other thing I'm going to need. Now I did steal this idea from Eric. Eric uses a laptop for his configuration. However, I couldn't work out how to get a good sound out of either the, an iPad or a laptop or any other device. Eric's clue was use a DI. For the iPad, I'm using this radial stage bug. The stage bug's designed so that you can do a left right out or you can just do a balanced front of house. It comes pre-cabled with a stereo headphone jack. So this connects into my USB connector. So this comes out of the iPad and then I connect a mic cable from this into our in-ears or front of house depending on what you're using. This gives you the balanced clean sound out. I'm not doing anything tricky and very stereo like, so the mono out's fine for me. However, I can use the stereo left right if I really needed to. So they're the parts we need. Let's look at how we connect it up and look at the software on the iPad. As for sounds, the iPad's a little bit more limited than a laptop. However, not so much, or not as bad as you think it's gonna be. For a laptop or a MacBook perspective, my friend Eric, and I believe also Billy Sheehan uses Mainstage, which is a, an Apple product, to get their keyboard sounds. As of 2023, when I'm making this, Mainstage is not currently available on the iPad. So there are a number of other applications. Here I've got a number of ones that I use. The one that I like for our band and for the tone that I'm looking for in here is an application called Sunriser. Sunriser is a poly synth. 
If you are a lot smarter than me, there are dials to dial in to whatever you need to based on a bunch of sounds. I have one that I've saved, which is basically a preset that someone's created and this works for me. Gives enough ambient sound in the background for what we're using it for, basically to overcome a drop in stage sound when there's a guitar solo going on. Because I use my iPad for more than just synth sounds, this causes a little bit of a problem with an iPad just using the applications as they stand. While this application is at the forefront, it's on the screen and I can play it, it works perfectly well. However, if I then switch applications to the Alan Heath application to adjust my ears, or I want to go back to Band Helper to see which is the next song in the list, then this application goes to the back, sound suddenly stops coming out of my keyboard. So to address that, what I do is I use another application. The other application that I use is called AUM. AUM is a little bit like Ableton Live. It's a mixing desk and allows you to create channels that can then be utilized in a song. Now the one I use is prepared. So here you can see I've got a single track um, with a single sound module in it. One of the advantages of using AUM is that you can add multiple tracks, which means you can add multiple instrument sounds. I can also add effects to this particular track, delay, reverb, chorus, compression, etc., etc. My simple use for it is to preload the Sunrise the synth that I want to use, and it already has preloaded the preset within Sunriser that I want to use for my sounds. There is a keyboard that I can use from here. However, I hide that because I'm using the Macmillan to do the sounds. The other advantage of using AUM, apart from when it goes to the background, it still provides the sound. And so I don't have to have this at the forefront of anything. I can now set and forget my iPad, knowing the keyboard will work when I need it to. The other advantage of this is it also has a much better control over MIDI if I want to do MIDI controls to start automating or changing things with pedals. So for example, if I want to control through Band Helper as I change to the next song in the set, it will change from this preset of Sunriser to using uh, a different keyboard synth module, or I want to change the Macmillan to be a different patch that I can do that through the MIDI, basically using the iPad through AUM to control between the HX DOM, which is my live rig, versus the Macmillan or any other devices I have connected to the iPad. Check out Eric's video on how he uses the Quad Cortex to control the HX DOM and main stage. That's where I stole this idea from. I just needed another option that wasn't a Quad Cortex or a main stage but the HX is configured very similarly to the way he's done his quad cortex. I just have less buttons. If you want me to do a video on how to control the Macmillan through the HX, similar to what Eric's done with the quad cortex, please leave the comments below and we'll do that for you. So now we've got the basics of the software that's going to run and the parts we need. Let's look at how we're going to configure that together so that it actually works as a unit. Okay, so now we've got it set up. I'm not going to play with my feet because then you won't see it. But basically, this is the keyboard. The way this is set up at the moment, I've basically got this as a chromatic scale, so a normal one octave keyboard. The only difference that I've done is we play in tune down half a step, so I've detuned this, so it's not in C now, it's in C flat, uh, B sharp. But you can see now as I play, um, hopefully you can hear that, um, you can see on the AUM at the top, the green lines. So I'm showing, I'm getting signal input and you should be able to hear this as I play this back. Um, the One of the other things I can do, again, Eric's got a great video on how to do this, but you can pre-program the keys to do whatever you need. If I change to this setting, this is a song for only, only you then um, I can just hold down and it will sustain the one note. 
However, if I, I then set it up so that rather than trying to work out which notes I'm playing on the fly to make it easier for me playing live, I can basically it's a chromatic scale. I can press the first one, second one, as we see going down, and that will basically play the scale that I need without me having to go and find the notes on the keyboard. So again, Eric's got a great video on how to do that. If you want me to do a video on how I've set mine up, please let me know and I'll set something up for you. So again, you've got the iPad, which is controlling the sound modules, and it's also being used as my MIDI hub, if you like. I've got the Macmillan connected in via a USB connector through the USB hub on, attached to the side. And the sound going to the front of the house, or in this case into Reaper, is coming through the stage bug, which is a DI pedal. Now you can use any DI you like. This one was just convenient for me. It's the right size to sit on my pedal board uh, when I'm playing, so I have everything there. I then basically mount the iPad to the mic stand. And from there, I have control in front of me for all the things that I need to use. If I need to change a module, I can change it. If I need to adjust my ears, I can do that. Etc. Well, hopefully you've been able to get an idea on how to use an iPad with a 12 step. I haven't been able to work out how to simulate a Taurus pedal, but that's just because I haven't had the patience to play with all the sound modules in a lot of the apps that are there. I find that this is really convenient on stage. We don't use it in that many songs, although the more I use it, the more the rest of the guys are saying to include it. In check out Billy Sheen in Winery Dogs. He uses it quite often to put keyboard backings in when Richie moves off the keyboard onto playing a solo. And really do check out Eric Arco's videos. He's got a couple of them. I'll put links for them below. Hopefully you've liked it. Again, leave comments if you want me to put more information about what I'm using. And otherwise, stay reckless.